also weighing in on things that we should know. They say now is the time to start preparing your home for the bitter temperatures. Fox 59's Michael Van Skoik walks us through what you need to do to keep your home and your appliances up and running. The coldest temperatures of this winter are headed our way, and local heating, cooling, and plumbing companies say there are several things you should check off your list before that frigid air arrives. We are getting some temperatures below zero. You know, when we start getting below there, um, you, you need to start thinking about your plumbing, number one. Jeff Chapman with Chapman Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing says it's the time of year pipes burst if you're not careful. Can't believe how many people leave the hoses on the bibs. For sure you're going to have uh, frozen pipes if you do that. And inside your home, crack cabinet doors so sink pipes can get some of that warm air. You may also consider letting some of your faucets drip. Doesn't have to run, but just a small drip to keep the water moving or keep it from freezing. And as you pile on more layers to stay warm, there are things you can do to make sure your heating does its job. Make sure your air filter is clean um, within at least, you know, a week or so of changing it. If it's got any sort of dirt or grime on it, definitely want to get that replaced before the cold weather sets in. That's the number one way to make sure your furnace operates, but Aaron Shimento with LCS Heating and Cooling says your electric system may struggle in these Arctic temperatures, which means your thermostat may take a little while to catch up. So if you have a heat pump and you have your thermostat that set at 70 degrees, it could be perfectly normal for it to be right around 65, 66 degrees. Experts also suggest keeping your thermostat set at a consistent temperature all day long. Don't raise and lower it throughout the day. And of course, make sure all windows and doors inside your home are closed and sealed. In Marion County, Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News.